Hey, what's up? John 2K here. Or 2K, either way. Um, I would like to talk to you about... Talk, talk to you about, um... The... The way that GTA... Um... Online can improve. Like, drastically. And I was just going through it, through my mind, and... Come... Brainstorm, I guess you could say. Um... And I was telling myself, wouldn't it be cool to um, have Rockstar um, um, have Rockstar let us rob banks, like not like do mini heists on the, on free mode, and rob jewelry stores as well. <coughs> I know um, they made some YouTuber make this video who was talking about the subject, but. Like what I mean, like I get, I get that Rockstar is like doesn't allow us to do that, cause we get we're gonna get a whole bunch of money and it's gonna on on the economy is gonna lead to one side, not the other. But if Rockstar okay, like um could let us rob like let's say like four to three banks a day, and that 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 will, that will be separate, in, not including jewelry stores. Let's say we can rob two jewelry stores a day with friends on free mode. That'd be awesome. Like, um, you can plan it how you can go or how you how, how you want it to go, and you can like have like basically um, all five stars on you. But the thing that I see, uh, like, I know, like, oh, yeah, it's gonna that doesn't take the matter of fact that um the money comes into play I'm like but I got don't worry I got you covered the, I was, the, the I think a pretty good amount of money that Rockstar could give us let us rob like per day or per bank or so it could be like 200 or 300 at least thousand dollars per per day or bank it doesn't I, I don't know I could work per bank well, I'm just I'm thinking for day two, but I think for banks it's, it's gonna be good because, it, like I said before and earlier in this video, like you can rob up to three banks per day, right? And you you let's say you successfully rob a bank, and you have um you have to like split that money. With your friends or, or, or people you're participating in, um, in this heist, you could say mini heist, because you could say. So let's say, um, like you you could like give, um, you can give um your friend or your whoever you're doing the heist little mini heist with, so uh, like a little percentage or equal percentage of the money. And that will um that will equal or balance out the 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 heist. You know you can't you you rob it, but you earn too much money. But at the same time, you don't get to keep all the money. I mean, they, well, yeah, it would, it would, you would be able to keep all the money if you were doing the heist by yourself or the mini heist or robbing the bank by yourself. But like, if Rockstar could just let us do that, like at least like three times a day, let's say. Let's say, let's say, like I, I said before, like um, let's say you you get to rob or you get to get, or you get three hundred thousand poor um poor bank, and let's say you split that money like let's say a hundred G's for you, a hundred G's for your friend, or and a hundred G's for your other friend. You be you be and you you be getting end up getting um. You you will be end up getting them um, 300 G's back. Cause let's like let's do the math. Let let's say there's three banks, right? And and or even more than 300 G's or so. Um, let's let's say um your friend is helping you out with this heist. Let's let's equal that out, you know. And let's say you're fine doing the final heist, or the, or doing the final, the the last turn, the last chance to rob the bank. 
let's say you you and your friend are just in a single friends only met session and you you have no other friends so basically you can split that money that money that that you earn from the highest you can like let's say 50 last 100 G's let's say you can have 50 or 50 for 50 and 50 and split in between your friend friend and you but let's say you can also keep it um to so you can get like at least like let's say you get 100 G's right and let's say um now you get your 100 G's right and you already done you already done the last two or the la well, first two turns of to rob a bank you already wasted your turn, right? But if your friend and you're just participating, you can like um you can choose rather to give half of the cut to your friend or just keep it yourself. And that'll be end up getting you like it's four hundred G's a day. And that's like per day, add it up per week, dude, and like you'd be getting up more. And let's let's say it works for the same system like I said before, like to the jewelry store, like let's say you can rob it like twice a day and let's say the jewelry is worth a little bit more than the than the money originally because they're like diamonds gold you name it it's all there you know it's made out of jewelry and shit but let's say you you being end up getting let's say you and your friend split out the money let's say let's say that um and together of all of all the total of the um of of the jewelry prom price will equal at least like um like million dollars or a million dollars in two quarter and a quarter let's say you can split that money with your friend and that that's gonna equal the amount of money and like same thing goes with the jewelry um um stores that you can rob like um You'll be able to like split it with your friends, the ones you're doing the the robbery with, and like like this could work throughout the jewelry stores in the game, like throughout the city. You can rob them, like let's say you can rob two a day. You can like choose which um, jewelry store you want to rob, and let's say you're doing it with you and your friends and his friend of his your friend, and one of you can guard the door so the cops won't come. And two of you can grab the the dough, or the jewelry. Okay. Well, later it was gonna convert into dough. And let's say Lester's kind of involved in this thing. Like he'll he'll like, you take let's say you take um. Let's say you take the jewelry back to him, right? Like you you it's like you can like go back to him and free mode and shit. Like not you know that doesn't have to do a mission. It's just your own mission that you're doing. But let's say you robbed the store successfully, and you want to turn it, that jewelry into cash. You basically tr take the jewelry back to him, and he will like um, sell it like he did on the on the campaign. You know how you, we rob that jewelry store? You know he'll sell it, sell the jewelry, and give you the, the cash that you. And th at that point, you can either choose to give it to your friend. Or split it between your friend and you, and like that. But that's kind of like a really good, awesome feature that could be added into the game. That I'm thinking it's really good, you know. Since we have the highest, one well, might as well add those in. But um, yeah, um, I just like was just thinking. But other other moving on, you know, that could be working. Well, that be that could be that could work. I mean, that could actually work. And through the weekend, like in the bank too, you know, you could like, like we don't really need to like, um, it's called take it to Lester's to split it out. You just right there on the spot when you lose the cops, I like, could give it an option to split it. Or actually, no, you can actually go into action in the direction menu and go to let me see. Yeah, go to inventory and cash. Like you'll get it will give you an option to split half and half right here in this tab. Uh, but that could be work uh, for Rockstar. That's a good, really good feature that could be added into the game, you know. And other the other um, subject that I wanted to talk about is kind of bringing back 
one of one, like couple cars from the old school retro cars that we see in other games. Like I want to see back the Corvette um, from Grand Theft Auto 4. That was a beautiful Corvette, and that was like one of my favorite cars from GTA 4. And I still want to see back. I want to see back the the other Corvette from live um, from Vice City. You know that old school 19. 90s Corvette that you, you should like you will find you will find driving around Vice City like that's I wish that one was available on GTA 5 like it will fit perfectly because we only have like at least I think like two or three Corvettes in the game but yeah um and this other kind of um vehicles that I want to see return um it's the a really cool motorcycle that's like kind of a sports motorcycle that you still like you will see you will be seeing it around in my city I remember I used to see it around it's kind of like that motorcycle right there but it's like more more like it has that like old-school look it was not chomper I think it was a sports bike but yeah it's kind of like we're missing that um because we have this old new new more cycles but it'd be good for a change to add some old ones into it like the the electro was really good that was a really good choice from rockstar adding it into the game but other other than that i would like to see more um bikes like let's say off-roading bikes and more dirt bike more sports bikes and more from um, atvs that's a, a, like a really good um thing that Rockstar could be added to the game like because we have re the, the game or the city is full of supercars and bikes I mean supercars and sports cars and must cars but mostly the supercars are dom dominating streets but Rockstar can add more bikes into, into the game to equal that out because I think we have like who wants at least like 16 or probably more than 16 supercars in the game and a few sports cars like yeah, they yeah, they only have like a few sports cars, but they, yeah, like that could like it wow. out. And let me know in the comments if the, you think this is a really good idea. And um, I'll see you in the next in the next time. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you watched it or not, or just don't watch it at all, or watch it either way. Um, I'll um. Yeah, I just hope this Rockstar gets, gets this video because I was like that's a really good idea for a game that's need to like I don't get why we have the ability to rob stores um, convenience stores that we can rob banks that's like freaky out so yeah um, leave your comments down below if so you think of this good idea and like this video and if you're new subscribe to the channel why not like I post they weekly um videos and um, i'll i'll make sure i'll reply to you reply reply with or leave a comment i'll reply to you and yeah and subscribe you're you're new and till the next one peace